Hello Salesforce enthusiasts and welcome to another edition of Salesforce How To Thursdays. Today we're going to learn how to create a LinkedIn uh, custom field on the lead record in order to uh, uh, store the LinkedIn profile uh, automatically of the lead that you're currently on. Uh, this is a really quick one, super easy to do. We're going to use Flow to do it. And um, yeah, just follow along. And by the end of this uh, 10 minutes or so, you should be able to have that functionality. Uh, if you get anything out of the video, we would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Uh, that helps the algorithms and the channel to grow. Uh, and again, leave your comments and questions below. Uh, we'd be happy to, uh, to respond to them. So ready to go? Let's do this. Okay, so I'm uh, logged into my dev instance here. And what we'll want to do is essentially add a field to my leads object. So just to see here, I'm on a specific lead. And if I go to details, uh, the field we want to add will be in this details tab here. So the first thing to do is to configure this field. Uh, once you're on a specific lead, what you can do is click on the little cog setup wheel and go to edit object. This will bring us to the object manager for the object we were on, which is the lead. So from here, in order to add a field, go to fields and relationship. And we want to add a new field. Uh, this is going to be our new custom field that will hold the uh, LinkedIn URL values. So in this field type, what we're going to be choosing here is uh, URL. And we'll click on next. Our field label will be LinkedIn URL, tab out of the field. Add a description here. And we'll go and click on next. And over here, we want to make it visible to all our profiles. Uh, we'll want the ability to edit it just in case we want to edit the LinkedIn value. Click on next. And let's go ahead and add it to all our page layouts and click on save. So we now have our field called LinkedIn URL. We're going to go to the page layouts and I'm going to go to my lead layout, which is my main page layout. And here is my URL that was auto added. Uh, we could leave it here. If you want, you could move it anywhere you wish. Now the trick is in order for the, now the trick is in order for a LinkedIn URL to be inputted into that field, we're going to achieve that via a flow. So follow along here. This is fairly straightforward. Uh, we're going to create a new flow so you can type in flow into your setup. Access flows. And we are going to create a new flow. So let's go here, create a new flow. And this is going to be a record triggered flow. So what we'll want to do is anytime a lead record is created or updated, uh, we'll call on this particular flow to update the value of this new LinkedIn URL field uh, that we created. So go ahead and select record triggered flow and create. Now, what do we want this flow to trigger on? Uh, well, we want to trigger it on the lead object. So go ahead and select your object. And then the trigger will fire anytime the lead record or a lead record is either inserted or created or updated. Um, so we'll go ahead and do this. But we'll add a condition. What if 
the lead record already exists and there's a value in the LinkedIn field already, there's a URL in the LinkedIn field, well, we don't want to update it. Um, so we'll add a condition here. It's gonna be all conditions are met. And then we'll pull our uh, LinkedIn field so you can start typing LIN. Here's our custom field that we just created. And is null equals true. So you're gonna grab this one of these global constants here that says global constant true. So basically if the LinkedIn URL is null, i.e. it's true that it's null, then go ahead and fire off this flow. If there's a value in there, then don't do anything, basically. We want to run this flow every time a record is created and meets the condition requirements. And we want to select actions and related records here. Um, we want to fire off this flow after the record has been inserted uh, because we're going to inherit some values from that record. If we were to select fast field updates, uh, this uh, is um, an optimized flow that runs before the record's inserted, but we would not be able to get the values that we want uh, in the URL that we're creating. So action and related records, leave everything else as is and click on done. Okay, so now we have our record triggered flow. Let's go ahead and save it and give it a label of um, lead. This is a convention I use uh, to make it easier. So I always put the object that the flow is written to first and then little acronym. Uh, this case, in this case, it's a record triggered flow. So I put RT and then a little description update LinkedIn URL. Okay, so now we've got our flow saved. That's fine. Now what we want to do next is uh, update the triggering record. So we're gonna go ahead and select update record. And this is going to be update linked in URL. Uh, you can go ahead and put in a description here. And then we want to use the lead record that triggered the flow. Um, so whatever rec record we're on when we're either creating or updating the lead, this is the record we want to modify. No filter conditions, we're gonna leave it at none. And then we're gonna set our LinkedIn URL. So again, start typing in LIN, select your custom field, and then the value is going to be a URL, but it's going to be a formula that I'm including into the comments below. I'm going to go ahead and paste the formula in here. Um, let's take a look at what this does here. Okay, so it accesses the LinkedIn uh, website. It appends search to it, results all, and then for the keywords, if I scroll forward, it's going to take the lead's first name of the current record we're, we're on. It's going to uh, put, uh, it's, it's gonna append its last name as well, and the company name. So go ahead and paste the formula in this value here, which will automatically create the URL. And then from there, that's all we have to do. Let's go ahead and click on save. Once the flow is saved, uh, don't forget to activate it. So click on activate and that's all there is to it. So if I exit out and go back to my sales app and if I go ahead and insert a new lead, So I'm just going to fill in the required information here and click on save. Now if I go to detail, here is the LinkedIn URL that was updated. 
So essentially, uh, it put in my first name, my last name, and company name. If I go ahead and hit this URL link, you will get access to uh, the LinkedIn record. And that's all there is to it. Quick and easy way to access a LinkedIn profile from your lead records. Now, you could do this on your contact record. It would be the same scenario. You would just have a flow that is triggered on the contact object itself. Um, but uh, that's all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, like and subscribe. We try to release these videos every uh, other Thursdays. And um, yeah, feel free to add a comment, questions, or any flows you'd like to see. Um, we'll respond to all our comments and use your feedback to develop uh, additional Salesforce functionality. That's it for today. Enjoy the rest of the week.